middle today. So hello and welcome to Mary Carey and See, I think that was a pretty good first intro. I know you mean. I know why you've been doing it. It feels good to just do that, doesn't it? To do exactly it, what it, I did. It rolls. Eric, Max, John, we're the hosts of the show. Welcome. It, now that we're talking, well, we've welcomed them in. So mm -hmm. we, 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 <laughs> they have to watch it to hear it. Here comes the money, baby. <laughs> we left that on the table. <laughs> Too late now. We gotta own it. Yeah. This is part of the set. Yeah, it is. It's actually kind of a prop. Eric, what have you been playing, boy? Oh, yeah, what's up, um, have we been there's doing? this little game that came out. I don't know if you heard of it. I don't know. It's called, uh... Battleborn? It's, it, no, that's next month. <laughs> unfortunately. Whatever, it just came out, didn't it? Open no. beta? It comes out, well, the open beta did. Okay, that's basically coming Battleborn? out. That's coming out. Okay, let's, let's not talk about, about Let's not, let's not, let's not. <laughs> I actually did play the beta. In the same age, I could not talk about it. Let's not. I'm going to talk about Battleborn. <laughs> Okay, so Battle Boy. No, um, <laughs> I, I've been playing this little thing called Dark Souls Three. Ooh, babe, it's it's the third Dark Souls Three, the darkest of all souls. Dark, the darkest you soul. You could say it's the <laughs> fifth Dark Souls game. <laughs> all right, because there's like five Souls games if you count Bloodborne. And Bloodborne. You got two. Demon. You got Dark. Demon counts. You got Dark Two. Kingsfield. And then Bloodborne. Mm -hmm. Kingsfield. King's Quest. King's Quest. <laughs> King's Quest. And, and and Pac-Man. Three D World. Uh, Party Adventures Jam. of Cookie and Cream, Party which is from software. <laughs> Are you not familiar with it's Adventures? It's from, from Software? It's From Software. Oh. I feel like it's nicer to just say that. It's From mm. Software. From Software is a weird fucking company because they, they found their one game that became their AAA product. Mm -hmm. Before that, they just made a ton of shit and sure. just wanted to see Woo. if any of them would stick. And they usually didn't. Like, they made, like... Like, you know that fucking really bad uh, Connect Met game? I never work. played a single fucking Kinect game. Me neither. Well, they looked was, like trash. There was one games. where they tried to make a hardcore game, but because it was Kinect, it was broken and you couldn't Ooh. beat it. Oh, good. You could never beat the first level. Oh, I love Steel that. Battalion. That's why the Kinect took off. Good job. But From Software made that. They also made uh, Adventures of Cooking and Cream. They made the uh, Tenchu Ninja games. They made Armor Core. I thought Acquire made Tenchu. Nope. It's from software. Oh. They might have published Haven't it. we had this discussion before? We have. I feel like Acquire made the that first was, one. I think he was just, with that nope, he was quoting, gotcha. That was the same nope. Oh. Nope. <laughs> nope. My That's life. a movie we made. It's, it's not reference. on this channel. Yeah, I can put a link in the description, though. It's a good one. one. There's some good nopes in We're it. We're a dumb movie. Click on my face. It's, it's got a better nope in it. You know, I entered that into the film festival, and the whole reason, not the whole reason, but a big reason, is I'm going to go, and I'm going to record audience reactions with my phone, and make that a whole new video. <laughs> I'm down because people are gonna. Some people are gonna laugh. Some people are gonna be weirded out. I just, That's I just, funny. I'm interested to see the color, when like the rainbow of reactions. It's gonna fucking. I'm excited. Uh, it's soon. It's like right around the corner. God damn, I'm ready. Yes. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna win, and then we. If will. we, I'll be surprised if we're mm. if we win. But I won't. I think we will be competitive. I think we're gonna win. We're gonna be Oscar winners, baby. Mm -hmm. Not because the movie's good, but because the competition is so. Um, yeah, that's why I'm pretty sure we're going to win. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, Dark Souls. I was going to talk Dark about it. Dark Souls! Um, so, I'm a fan... How dark did them get? Well, <laughs> I, I feel like... I don't want to buy it yet. So, sold me on that game. Okay, so Demon Souls, that, was, that wasn't that dark. Okay. Dark Souls, they darkened it. Dark oh, Souls 2. That's called it that. that's Dark Souls 2. They ran around in the dirt. Dark and got Souls, Souls 2 dirt. was that's the right, sequel. Right, you right. think they would have upped the dark? That's... Not enough dark. Bloodborne. Dark they added a lot of dark red, but it was it was interesting. It was different, but it was dark. So a lot of like it. dirt in it. And, and stuff. Dark Souls 3. I feel like is a return Dark Souls 1, mm -hmm. where it's just. I thought really you were describing dark. Three. Which one were you just describing? All of them. Oh. Explain that poster. <laughs> oh, there's color on that poster. That's a Dark Souls 2 poster over there. I feel like Dark Souls 3 is the sequel to Dark Souls 1 that we've been waiting for. And it's weird to say, but like Dark Souls 2 is a disappointment, right? Like, I didn't like Casuals. it. Casuals. It wasn't... Making things easy for the casual. It wasn't easy. that it was too easy. That wasn't oh. the problem with it. it. It was that it was generic. Dark Souls 2 did not have the same heart or feel to it that the first game does. <gasps> That's a shame, because it should, should have had it. Well, thank God. <laughs> why didn't it? That's my leave in the comments below. Why didn't it? it? That's that's my insightful commentary. Fucking put that on the box. <laughs> leave a um, comment on the radio. Why didn't it happen? <laughs> I don't know. Say it out loud in your car. In the morning fucking drive. Dark Souls. So you like it? Ten out of ten from Eric. Eric's seal of approval. A Dark, wow. Dark Souls three. I'm out not three. done with Dark Souls three yet. So I can't, 
I Eric can't is go done that. with so Dark Souls three. So far, so you've so only beaten it twice. I'm so loving I'm the fuck out of it. But but the thing is, with every Souls game, I end up beating it three times. Souls. So I gotta I gotta beat it three times before I can give you the full answer. And the reason you can is beat this. Dark Souls three three times. I have yes. to. I'll tell you why. With, with every That's Souls game, six, the, six, the six. first time I beat it without a guide. And I'm just exploring it and, and just kind of examining it. Yeah, Second sure. time, I play with a guy and try to discover every fucking thing that I missed. Okay. And see, like, Clean what, up everything you missed. what is here. And there's usually a lot to uncover. Mm. Like, there, there's tons of areas that you just completely miss over. Souls, you gotta get all the souls. You gotta get every soul. You gotta collect them all. Gotta, it's basically a Pokemon ripoff. It's, it's like Dragon phrase. Ball. And then the third time, I just fuck around with the rule set and see what I can do. And be like, hey, NBC, that's probably important. Then you have, you have a lot Let's of fun. Let's kill him and see if this guy that's does That's a nice something. routine. I like that. I do the same thing with God of War war games i play through on normal then i play through on hard and i get all the trophies and i get all the knickknacks and everything i didn't find mm -hmm. and then i play through like with the fish suit or whatever silly thing i've unlocked and just have a lot of fun with it sure it, yeah. it's pretty similar it's a good way to um, go through games but because it's the first time I, I i'm not i don't know anything outside of my own playthrough i i i've a media blackout Me. right now so i don't know what fucking upcoming boss is i don't know what strategies i'm supposed to use don't tell them don't Leave it out, you know. It's just good with the Dark Souls game returning to their Fucking to their to their it. roots, getting hard again. The Dark Souls Two is too easy. Dark Souls One. Remember back when the main menu <laughs> used to change languages randomly every time you booted up? That was a up? pretty good part. Now it's in English every time. It's like easy. It's casual. Dark it's Souls Three is yeah. only in Korean, so yeah. And the order of the <laughs> and the order of the buttons in the of the menu items change randomly. It actually with the language. It actually ripped off Jonathan Blows a Witness. What you got to do is you got to mm. close your eyes and then it. and then squint really low and then mm -hmm. and you have to read it in the in the pale moonlight outside. Right. And if you do those right. things, you can read how to play and you can't the main menu. <laughs> the game. And you can't be within like two miles <clears throat> of a Call of Duty game. It has like a right. GPS thing in it. And like it, you have to be like really fucking indie for the game. And if you don't win, <laughs> you the game pure. will just say get good on it. That's that's what happens. That's right. And it says Japanese games suck right on it. Just a big <laughs> I, I will say this though. Just a big sweeping statement. I kind statement. of fucking hate the, the Souls fan base. Because they really make that difficulty seem like it's this giant impossible to overcome thing. And it's not. Because the, th the thing is with Dark Souls that I, I think people got to realize. Hmm. It is the hardest game that everybody who loves it has beaten. And when you think about it like that, it's not so intimidating, right? Sure. Like, sure. like fucking everybody's like, yeah, it's super hard. But they're building themselves up. That's why they do it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like, I beat it. Mm -hmm. I am amazing. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, it's not... <laughs> That hard if you if you know That's my favorite Max face. If you know what you're doing, I, I'd argue that like anyone can beat these fucking games. They just gotta mm. understand how to play it. You just gotta fucking finish them. You just gotta fucking grow up and you gotta do it, man. Anyone can beat these games, they just gotta fucking finish them. Like, are you guys familiar with the worst LP -er on the internet, Dark Side Phil? No. Mm. Okay, so there's this fucking guy. And he plays games like the, the biggest idiot in the world. I didn't ba start a basically, timer. here's an example. You play Metal Gear Solid 3, right? I didn't start a timer. Yes, I did. Go ahead. We'll, we'll wing it. We're winging it. We'll wing it. It were about um, ten minutes. Here. You know, you know Subtract the five from that. Go oh, on. okay. You know the sniper fight in uh, Metal Gear Solid Three where yeah, you're, you're supposed to. Okay, so he plays it, never going in first person view, not not doing any of the tricks, running around the map, just hitting the shoot button, saying, "Why isn't he dead?" Like, Ooh, the, I. That's an awful a person. Ass. That's he an awful beat person. Dark Souls. Right? <laughs> he's like he's a terrible human. Fucking any human being can beat Dark Souls if you honestly just keep fucking playing. I really feel that way. Mm. Sure. Like it is not this intimidating fucking thing. Okay. I think it is just that it hits hard at the beginning and then once you fucking get into it and start to understand how it plays, fucking you really only have that really difficult experience the first go. And not not for each game, just the first fucking go. And then like like Dark Souls three, I died maybe four times and I've been playing it for about 12 hours, mm. you know, that's mm. not the biggest, and I'm not yep. saying that to boost myself <clears throat> up, I'm just saying like, and this one does start a little easier than the other one. Yeah. But you it's know, all good. I just, <laughs> I'm just sick of all the fucking like fans being like, it's the hardest game in the world, I am amazing. <laughs> Yeah, it's like fucking, hard, you can know. baby, well, here's the thing, they don't tell you. You can baby yourself through it because there's ways to change the difficulty just naturally. Mm. Like, hey, there's a boss that's really hard. I could just summon a dude to help me out Yeah. and get multiplayer going on. It's not how I like to play it, but, like, you sure. could. It's there. Or yeah. fucking, I don't know, maybe I should grind a bit and build up my level so I'm a little more, I have more damage so I can use this. Or I have more dexterity so I can use this bigger weapon so I can fucking hit harder and faster. Mm. Like... 
there are ways to be better at the game. Hey, Eric. You no. know what people should do if they're listening to us on Mopcast.com? What? They should go to YouTube.com slash Memory Card Radio. Thanks for listening to us on Mopcast.com, but make sure you go to YouTube.com slash Memory Card Radio and watch the video versions too. There's more extra stuff at the end of the videos. Or more. There's more to it. You can get it on the video, not the audio. And if you just listen to the video on the video on YouTube, go to Mopcast.com. <laughs> listen to other po- uh, podcasts as well. Okay, imagine me saying <laughs> this <laughs> right now. That's what you can get. On the you want to you want to see his? We mustache? have a lot of listeners on the. Do do we have a lot of listeners on Mopcast. That's good. According to Scott, Scott boy, well, Scottman, he uh, the great. According to the Scotsman, that's good. Well, so we want him to come to YouTube Scottish. and listen to Hold the on. extra good. Vice versa, you should yes. also download the podcast and listen to listen to it twice. Listen on. You can to watch it on the planes. video. You can listen to the audio, mm-hmm. and then just whore yourself out that's, for money. That's yeah. how you live. That's and life. that's we'll have a bigger budget, and we'll become the next JonTron. Back on the topic right. of what we've been playing, <laughs> I've been playing <laughs> a bad boy game. Oh, oh. the new Ratchet and Clank. Oh. Ooh. Now, that is a $40 product. It's a $60 game crammed into a $40 price. It's amazing. That's great. It's it's one of the best games on your PS4. One of the best games you can get on the system. Damn. I'd say it's in the top three, pretty I've objectively. Seen only screen caps, and I'm still, I'm pleased. It's, man. Just it's, with that. I have a question. Crazy. It's crazy. Now that you've played more, is it a remake, or is it like a reimagine? In the sense that, like, is it the same exact you know, game design from level to level as the no, original? Or is it, like, changed it's, it's a bit? It's, like, people use re reboot and and remake and reimagining and like so interchangeably now it's hard for me to know what to call it but for what the way I understand what reboot is is it's a reboot they made the first game again they did not take the first game and like clean it up they started over and made a game based on the first game okay that to me that's what reboot means okay that's fine and remake remake strikes me more as like when they took God of War three on the PS three and ported it over to PS four and cleaned that's it up, that's a remaster. Nice. I can okay, yeah, I can sure. set the record straight on those yeah, words. That, yeah, okay. If you want remaster is it is literally the same product. Remake means we are keeping the same level design, the same gameplay, with maybe some small tweaks under the hood, but it's a different engine and it's a different you know like like we made it again, but it's the yeah. same game. To me, like the defining on. factor is like, did you use the resources from the last game and fuck with them, or did you make new shit? If you made new shit, to sure. me that's that's a that's more worth your money. That's more yeah, of is a it project. Like a, is it like completely a different feeling game, or does it have better textures right. and better well, like, frames per second? And then and then there's like the thing with the new Oddworld game where it's like they totally made that from the ground up, but at the same time it's exactly like the first game, yeah. Except for some very small, subtle few. That's what I things. consider a remake, and that's like yeah, like I'd be more tempted to call that a remake rather than a reboot. Although it's also a reboot, I guess, because it is rebooting the franchise. Well, I feel like so it's. Yeah. I prefer reboot if they start over. That's if a good show, over, reboot. It's a the badass cartoon. show. It's, I'm just brought up because those guys who made reboot are making the movie, which is based off of Circle. What was the name of the bad guy? Megabyte. Yeah, uh, yeah. Fucking that was back before anyone knew what computer terms meant. They were yeah. like, "Let's call him, let's call him Ram." <laughs> People think it sounds like a goat or something. Yes. Fucking, I didn't grow fun. up with Reboot the right way. I, oh, I played the PS1 it was game. Killer. I remember and seeing it. And I was it. like, oh, they made a show based off this awful video game? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it turned out, no. I have no idea what this even you is. You know not Reboot? Never even heard of it. You Ooh. fucking white boy. What? You are a white boy. I am a white I'm a oh, You need baby. to get some color on your skin at the beach. <laughs> no, man. Yeah, it's, man it's, it was like, like it, was a, huh? it was one of the first, if not the first, like serious, fully... 3D rendered, polygon based, uh, cartoon. Compu- like CG cartoon. Like, as far as I know, it was wow. the first real one. I think it was the first, but the, it may have been. They, they went on to make Beast Wars of Transformers. And Beast Wars was fucking awesome, um, too. But, but Reboot was cooler because they fucking. They did something crazy, which is, hey, you know, maybe, maybe we should, like, darken up our story. Which is yeah. fucking weird at the time, because this, this was, like, mid 90s. So for, like,. Like, you get that more now with, like, Adventure Time and shit, where mm-hmm. it's like, you know, like, here's an emotional episode. They did that back in fucking 95, 96. Yeah. Cool. It was awesome. It was basically, like, PS1, like, old PS1 cutscene graphics. Yeah. Oh, good. That's exactly what it was, yeah. right? I'd say. I'm down. It's like, see. early to mid-90s cutscene graphics. This is great news. And it was, I mean, as a kid at the time, like, I was enthralled with it, so it did its job. You it know, was it better three. than Sarge's Army Men PS1 game i you know what? i never played any fucking army men they games. suck i have a couple of them never played them. they're awful they seem like i'd like them i, I know i need to like, play more old games 
Old games are where it's at, man. Yeah, you start You're with never gonna fucking PS One and say this sucks because it's not a good game. Uh, Max, what you been playing, boy? I've been playing a lot of Super Meat Boy again because I've been. You got that bandage, girl? I've been going back. Yeah, uh, uh, I've been going back and like unlocking bandages and characters. And Get things. up bandages. <laughs> I've heard of this game. I have. I have one specific like achievement I got that was like, okay, that was pretty fucking cool. That was like the, that was like the neat. That was like the biggest video game achievement I've like just you know not official PlayStation achievement, just mm-hmm. the general, you know, accomplishment yeah. in a while. I um there was a character in Super Meat Boy called the guy from a game called I Want to Be the Guy. Oh, you fucking did that shit. Yeah. You have no excuse in telling me that you can't beat a Dark Souls game <laughs> right. because fucking. What is that? How do you get the guy? So there's Fuck. this. It's it's three level. It's a warp zone in the game, which is, I don't know if you've played it enough to like. I beat the first two stages. Warp zones like are levels, levels within levels, and they're okay. usually secret depending on you know where they are and stuff. Yeah. And uh, each warp zone has three levels within it. This one. It also has three levels, but they're, each one of them is just so impossible. It took me about two hours to beat Ugh. all of them. And Man, you have to do it in one go. You can't save scary. it and then come How back. If it's hard for you guys, then I'm afraid. Not well. And your reward is you, you unlock the guy. And he's great. He and has a really nice double jump. There's okay. a lot of yeah. the character parallels, he's a good character. I would say, with Super Meat Boy and Dark Souls in the same mm-hmm. sense that it clicks. Sure. Like, Su- yeah. Super Meat Boy, when you really figure out how to play it, mm-hmm. you can get farther and it's way easier than oh, when yeah. you were starting because it was fucking, like, I can do hell in, like, a second now. Right. And yeah. it used to be, like, a nightmare. Mm-hmm. Fucking, there, if you, I'm, honestly, if you can do that shit, you'll beat a Dark when Souls I game. beat I'm When fucking, I got over, the fr- when I beat the first boss the first time, I felt like my body level up. Like, I got better at video games because I beat that first boss in Super Meat Boy. Like, sure, a year yeah. ago or whenever it came out on console. That's good. Yeah, and it was like, and that, that game makes you better at video games, for sure. It's, also, it is a healthy you, challenge. It is. And if you unlock the guy, by the way, you get a silver trophy. Because <laughs> hmm. it's just... I, I love know. my silvers. It's definitely not a... It didn't feel like a bronze trophy kind of achievement. Definitely felt yeah. like I deserved at least a silver for doing that. See, it's a, I'm, it's a I'm happy with my cotton alley win. After, after, That's amazing. After man. finishing that shit, I said I'm I've beaten Meat Boy Dude, by my insane. standards. No one even tries that, and, and I it, beat so it, and so did you. Yeah, but you now did good. the part that's way more insane than Cotton Alley. So fuck you. There's less levels, <laughs> but they're really fucking hard. They're that's harder it. than be happy anything. for your friend. No, be that, happy. That's too hard. <laughs> Support. <laughs> This is a love room. I, love me. I <laughs> look. Except I would me. be if he was being a humble gaming bundle. Tell me, I am great. Hey, Matt. You're great. <laughs> <laughs> we had something, and then it went away. It was a. Tri- it was kind of tribal. I was enjoying it. It was a little tribal. Yeah, it was like it was like. Yeah, it was tribal. It was like a tribal, <laughs> tribal in like an old tap dance tune from. Sure. What's a little girl in the old black and white movies that would tap dance that everyone loved her? Uh, Lucille. Curly hair. Oh, uh, the, tomorrow, the tomorrow fucking... is her name. <laughs> I love you, you know, tomorrow. Anna, Anna, you know what I'm talking about? Annie. I know what you're talking about. There was like Not a Annie. movie Annie. collection on TV. Yeah, at some yeah, yeah, point. yeah. You see that shit all it's the time. Like, her like, name is. She has brown hair. Her name Curly is Curly Sue or something like that. Something like that. She's red hair and it's curly. Fucking... What's her name? It's not red. It's like she's like blonde. I think that was her name. Oh, she's blonde, but she was tap dance. Most of black and white movies. She was stupid. Which was like two years old. Anyway, it was that. It was her little tap dance music mixed with tribal. The Black Dahlia. That's it. Nailed it. <laughs> That's Slayer, her. I think. Slayer is the yeah. name of the girl. Slay girl. She made quite an amazing soundtrack for herself. That's that good. Was very what different. The fuck was this girl? Is that well, she... she was Slayer. Oh, the band. That makes B- sense. B. What? It's bothering me that I don't know this fucking girl's name. Fucking B. I want to say Elizabeth. Something. Oh, what are old names? Margaret. She's old now. <laughs> Brenda? Fucking, I just remember the commercial on TV. It was like, buy her whole collection. Kathy, yeah. for $20. Yeah, you get like we 40 We put them movies. in color for no reason. Is she the one that's an animal crackers? Yes. yes. Uh, fuck, what's her name? That one. Uh, dude. That's the one. Shirley uh, Temple. Shirley yes. Temple, that's it. It was an alcoholic beverage. It's not an alcoholic beverage. beverage. <laughs> yes, that's... That's disheartening. Ah! Yeah. Well, to be fair, I think the only reason it's not is because they didn't want to say a and virgin crack Shirley Temple. Because that sounds <laughs> awful. Or I that wouldn't want to say an alcoholic. I don't want to say the alcoholic Shirley Temple either. <laughs> you know, the alcoholic Shirley Temple. <laughs> the real oh. Yeah, neither right. works. I guess that's why. See, that's the reason. <laughs> B, B, B. Don't name drinks. God, I'm glad we figured that shit out. I got a joke that's relevant. Get the grasshopper me. walks into a bar, and the grasshopper says, "What? I want a drink. What should I have? And he's like, I got a drink named after you. And he goes, you have a drink called Larry? 
I heard that one. It's a great joke. I love it. It's it's an old one. <laughs> oh! I heard that on the internet at some point. <laughs> that there's a lesson in that it's joke. A, it's one of my favorites. It's don't judge a book by its cover. It's, it's true. an alcohol. Some thing. people have names. Some some grasshoppers. Have some they grasshoppers are anthropomorphic. They don't want to be known by just their fucking species type. Some grasshoppers are Jonathan or Larry or <laughs> Brenda. Some grasshoppers are Jonathan. <laughs> Everybody have a good night. <laughs> and that Hashtag was the episode of Remember Pinky John and the Brain. <laughs> that was the best oh, one, where they teamed up with Larry. Some grass. And he was just like, I'm Larry, and they didn't I'm do I'm Larry the grass boy. Yes. yes. <laughs> I'm a grass boy. I got big knees. I can jump high and make music with my legs. <laughs> I got <laughs> I got shit on my legs that make noises. You want to hear? <laughs> That's what they say. If there's anyone that actually had that ability... That'd be awesome. That's pretty horrific. That's an internet sensation waiting to happen. Oh my God. Fucking, I'm grasshopper boy. Grass. Jonathan. <laughs> Fucking get on it. I don't make music with my shins. Start on it. <laughs> I should learn. You could, don't you want to be the, the grasshopper the boy? <laughs> I want to be grass boy. I want to be the guy. Mima Totomo. Oh, new game. Mi Tomo, baby. Oh, yeah, Mi Tomo. We have some... Well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to do it because my girlfriend keeps bothering me to do it, so I'll probably do it. This what? You have a girlfriend? That's gay. She's a woman. She's not your friend. That's even worse. She's She's a woman. That's even she worse. Can't be she's friend. compatible. She's a girl. You should be dating. We're biologically compatible. Grasshopper. But <laughs> you've matched up. <laughs> the the files. I learned how it works now. <laughs> the files indicate that we match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you went on on Mitomo's yeah. But explain a little bit more about Mitomo because mm -hmm. it seems like it exists within the world of the Nintendo universe. It's pretty weird. And it's also kind of but interesting for Nintendo. A really simple way to put good. It. Make sure you interrupt me to say it. Good. Um, <laughs> I have a problem. Yeah. Yes. Interruption. Me but too. now, now I've made a scene, so I will continue <laughs> and stick with it. That's fine. It's Tamadachi life, but simplified. That's yeah. with a, on a phone. That's kinda. what it is. Kinda. Now it's, is this is this a thing Nintendo's going to do now? They're going to be in mobile. I don't know uh, what it because I heard rumblings about that like a year ago, like that Nintendo was looking into going into mobile like big time. They've teamed up with. Um, some mobile company they're gonna have four games yeah. i i think i think what it is is that the wii u like it or not was kind of a failure you know it was a it was a disaster it doesn't mean they're moving it sucks i don't even it the, doesn't the mean Vita they're moving more than the wii u what it so means weird. is that they want to get extra profit from mobile and what they want to synchronize it with mm -hmm. um with the console so one one thing that's interesting that i think they do with mitomo is there are surveys and you can unlock credit or free games for your fucking wii u and if you have a nx let's say then mm. it's like hey get on this app and you might earn a free earthbound uh -huh. you know and fucking obviously i will fall into that shit they gotta make a way for the nx to bring in people who skip the wii u and tell them it's fine now you can come back Mm -hmm. And they got to also find a way to make people who were first, like, adopters of the Wii U and got it and trusted Nintendo and got burned a little bit, they got to make, make it up to them as well. Like, they got to make the games backwards mm -hmm. compatible or sure. something. Yes, yeah, they do. Do you think they'll do it? I, I, I hope. They need to. I but hope. more than that, I think what's interesting is that they're, they're doing a PlayStation Plus sort of thing, I think, with these three games. Because it's like, okay, good. so let's say you have That's a PS3, a right? Fucking, you have had PlayStation Plus for a while, Max, but you're you're collecting these PS4 games. Sure. Every single month goes by, and you're like, well, I got two more games, I got two more games. So if you fucking look at the Xbox, and you look at the PS4, it's like, well, I got fucking 20 free shit already over here. Mm -hmm. I got nothing for that. Might as well get that I might as well thing. get the one with the shit on it that I already got. I want that shit. You know, and I think that's what they're trying to do that's with mobile. Yeah. I think they're trying to incentivize you and be like, well, you already have all this free shit. You might as well go for it. That's, that's a, a good, good idea. It's a good tactic. Yeah. I wish Sony actually did that a little bit better because mm -hmm. if I were to want a PS1 game, say Final Fantasy 7, mm -hmm. for example, there's some PS1 games and PS2 games that are on PSN, on PS3, and they're on PS4, but you can't buy one and have it on the other system. Yeah, it's and pretty that's dumb. ridiculous. Uh, that's I figure insane. they'll fix that. Because the PS4 is still kind of figured out what the fuck I still it don't is. know why there's no PS1 games. There's no fucking reason that makes sense. Because yeah. it's like, you can run a PS1 game on a toaster. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I run them on my Vita. My Vita runs them better than the fucking PS1 probably Even did. the non-backward compatible PS3s can play PS1 games. Yeah. And fucking the PS4 is just like, well, we can't get PS3 to work, so... Why would we even bother? You know what I think fucked them up? I think they had to change everything to me to match the cell processor and how weird it was. And they they yeah they put a lot of these PS1 games and they put some PS2 games and a lot of downloadable games, but all those fucking things 
are made for the cell processor, which nothing is like that, including the PS4. So I, I feel like it's it's just going to be difficult. You can't just port those over to the new system. You're going to have to go in and fucking rework them all over well, again. I mean, that's what it seems like. That's that's kind of what my we theory We already is. know PS2 Not works. defending them. I mean, if that's what they need to do, they need to fucking do it. But they're, they're already but. having PS2 games that are starting. Although they're different because they have trophies. Yeah, and, 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 they, and I think they, yeah, they make them widescreen. I got... Uh, Battle of the Monsters or Fight of the Monsters or whatever. It's uh, called. I know what you're talking about. Like, yeah, my it's, singing monsters. It's a, it's my a, little monsters. <laughs> my, um, all real monsters. The I little rascals. The little PS2. monster boys. Are you talking about Spanky from the Little Rascals? <laughs> no. Is that where we are now? I I was just trying to follow. What was your favorite part of the Little Rascals movie? My favorite part is oh, when wow. the kid asked, "What like was the, the number?" To I was literally gonna say that. I I'm not even joking. You. I was gonna quote that. So I like when the girl when the girl it's kissed the only him. Thing his, I fucking remember. It's I like when the girl kissed him and his hair went boop and they made a boner joke. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was good. I was like, I, I was a kid and I knew it. boner joke. Yeah. When I was a kid, was I'm like, those. aren't Child you supposed to be unattracted to women at this age? At this stage of your life, you're supposed to hate girls. That's how it works. You grow up and you're set and you're different. No, I never. They did. are pretty gross. Okay, give you cooties. They I never, I never hated girls as a kid. I was intimidated by them. I didn't either. I yeah, never was I like, ew, girls. Sometimes I would join in. I if like, like all them. the boys were doing that because I wanted mm-hmm. to be part of the group. But I never actually felt that way. I was well, either intimidated by them or I was indifferent sure. for like a long, long time. I, 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 I've, I've realized why kids do that, and it's dumb. When you segregate your genders based on Barbie and GI Joes. They fucking like you're weird. Yeah, you're they did yeah. wrong shit. Then and whatever you are, the other people are weird. And it's right. the other. And, one. and yeah. like yeah. you know, it, it, it feeds into like an unnecessary tribalism. I feel like yeah. the tribalism comes out of the fact that you're talking about tribal shit. Shit. <laughs> fuck how, how often do you do that in a day yeah, normally? Yeah, None. Ever, you're like, we're doing you like ever four play times. tribes Tri- on so the so PC? Tri- how many tribes are we? You guys ever play Tribes Ascend? I don't know what. It's a good game. It's a first person shooter. It's not around anymore. They ended it. What? Yep. What, like recently? Yeah, yeah, that's just gone. I didn't know. That. They also ended Nosgoth. <laughs> What's that? Exactly. Oh, I was interested in that. <laughs> it's gone now. Not ever interested enough to play it. No, I mean, was, Sky's guy. I, I, I had just, a stigma against that game. I just like so the world. Glad. I like Nosgoth. I, like I the world. fucking love Legacy of Kane too, but yeah. like, fucking, why would you turn it into a fucking shooter? Nobody wanted that. And that's why it failed. Nobody wanted it. Did either of you see JonTron's newest video about Blizzard? No. I did. It was good. Yep, I thought it was really solid. I agree. He Good. had some real grievances with Blizzard. Um, he was he was pretty. He was right. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a big World of Warcraft guy, but I like I fully agree with him. I used to, I played are... back then too. That that's actually when I played. They made, they made that game. That. So I kind of it kind of made sense to Hold me. Hold on, explain to John. I don't know if he knows what oh, we're shit. talking about. I don't know about. what they. Ch- right. I heard that some shit changed, but I don't know okay. what it is because I have so, no perspective. In World of Warcraft, there was this. Um, there was this. The only way you can go back and play the original expansion of the game, because you know there's a million expansions for World of right. Warcraft, is like change it. There's Burning Crusades, Wrath of the Lich King, the Fire One, Panda One, or I don't know. The Cataclysm other was the one that really changed Cataclysm, everything. the Fire One with the dragon. Uh, the Fire One. That's the one the I played fire. on. I don't remember. <laughs> there's fire, fire in it. This is a, That's all. It was. Is. Have you seen the cover? It's like it's lots of red and orange. <laughs> it's fire. Okay. That's, that's it's fire a fire. One. No. So like. <laughs> Like, when each of these expansions come out, it kind of, like, almost... They update the game a lot, and it kind of renders, like, the older versions, kind of, whatever. There's lots of features and stories and things that are left out. So if you want to play the original Warcraft, or World of Warcraft game, which some people do. Some people like the missions as a as its own game and not right. even as an online sure, game. Sure, sure. You have to find a private server. You have to... And it's apparently hard to set up. And that's what they changed that wasn't always they, that way. They banned one. They banned... They, yeah. Blizzard Why? is, like... Exactly. That's what John Tron is saying. Like, okay, you you are providing everybody with the original game, so they provided themselves with it, and now you're mad at them. Like, they just they don't even want to make any money. Is it bogging down the servers or just, something? It, no, it's here, its, own here, server. Here's it's what, separate from. Blizzard. I'll tell you what it does. It's the fact that they don't receive your monthly fee if you're fucking going for this private server. Yeah. So why don't they right? just fucking charge for it then well, and keep it up? That's that's the answer. That's what John's saying. That's, like, dude, that's I would what gladly we should do. do. Yeah. And that's what his rant was. And Damn. I fully agree with it. Absolutely. That's fucked up. Yeah, just give people what they want. You're a business. It's the I only thing you're supposed hunch. to do. And I have I'm a fucking hunch that it's in the works, soup. if you want my real answer. I have a hunch that they're, they're, they're trying to fucking set up their own version of it. But, and that, and, <laughs> some but fans did it better first. Fans that's, did it that's for so a while. often what happens. Yeah. But the I Mario think 64 remake was the fucking tits. They should have gone the, the other Unreal direction. Unreal one? Yeah. They should have said, hey, fans... Let's hire you and make this an official 
thing. Mm. That's what they should do. Boop, 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 but boop, boop, instead, boop, boop, they did cease and desist, and it's kind of bullshit. Mm. Um, I don't well, know if that's yeah. Blizzard itself or Activision. They have the right to do that. Activision owns Blizzard, and yeah. I feel yeah. like they, <clears throat> they're the cuntier company. Yeah, and you know, technically, sure. they have the right to do that. It's their game, and if you don't like the way they handle it, you don't have to play it. But yeah. what they should do morally is find a way to give the fans the one that experience the it's a way exactly to what have that John Tron said. Mm. Yeah. I agree with it entirely. Well, you, you know, with that community and with how vocal they are, I feel like they'll get what they want. It's just a shame that they have sure. to go through this It'll bullshit. just be a while and I'm sure it'll be yeah. like two, it'll be like two years from now when everyone's forgotten. I think they'll probably, have a monthly They're fee. probably talking about a solution right now. Well, I no feel like they, they, they let them go for this long. They just need to get through Activision. And then it changed. And I feel yeah. like you don't fucking do that kind of thing unless there's some reason. Like, there has to be a, well, here's an idea. Let's do that. And mm. so I feel like they're going to do an official thing sure. at some point. Because they, they've changed a lot money. of hands. Yeah, I mean, like, to. like you know. Money. People, and it's money that they're leaving on the table. They would exactly. make money. They would make, make a, money. Make just be like, you know, you get the, you pay this price and you get to play the fucking the fact, game. Fuck off. Yeah. The fact that the fan service exists, that's already they know people want it. Right. They don't even need to research that. Yeah. I mean, they already know that people... They may have actually lost people because they took it away. In fact, they probably have. Well, I mean, there's people by morals, I bet, that would just wouldn't sure. go on. Sure. I mean, if that's just what you like to play. If you want me to be a cunt, I cunt, will say those people technically me. would have never paid for the monthly fee anyway because they're already on a separate server. Cunt alert. But we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Okay. You I know. think it's... It would be... I would be more okay with them, you know, sending the cease and desist to that server if they were... Had, had plans and, like, you know public plans to do their own thing. I'm like, that's fine. You should be able to make a server of your old game that you If you were to that announcement yeah. with the season I just, I like, don't, then you totally, like, you Here's what I don't perfect. understand. Yeah. That's what I right? think. Yeah. Like, these are fans that fucking put this up for free mm -hmm. and say, we'll do all the hard work. Mm -hmm. Hire them. I feel like yeah. that's the way to do it. <laughs> they already like, know how to do it. They've done it already. You know that unofficial thing that y'all like so much? Let's just make it official. Bring it in. And then, and, and now it has a monthly <clears throat> fee. Sure, and that part sucks, but we'll give them more assets to fucking do what they need to do. Right. And fucking, It'd be like, there, the long there's run. so many better It'd ways be they could have handled it an other than just version. an email. And official version's going to work better, too. Yeah. Official versions are just less buggy. I mean, not until Well, it would be guess, compatible you know with I mean. all the, like the it, patches. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, so all the patches are still going, but then you can fucking, you know, it's just for stability. I'm sure it'd be nice to just, instead of it being from the fans, it being updated by, like, Blizzard. Here's my dream nice. scenario. This oh. was what I would like them to do. I'm not. I don't have the biggest investment, but like, here's a cool idea. Maybe you just fucking auto select a thing that lets you pick expansion. Like, like, okay, pick I've which done. One you want. Like, okay, sure. you're you're level fifty, right? I think it was the original cap for the mm -hmm. original. And be yes. like, hey, let me hit a button, and then I can transfer to the next expansion. Mm -hmm. so changes in content. Yeah. Sure. And then that way you can stay in, you can do as much as you need, and then you move on at your own pace. Because I think uh, World of Warcraft's biggest problem mm -hmm. is that it's fucking eleven years of content, and they are trying to jump you through all of it. Yeah. So you're skipping so much shit. That you can't real like it is impossible for a new player yeah. to experience it. I joined and with during, the movie. They need to work on that. I joined right before I, I played War World of Warcraft for like three or four months. I joined right before Catacly Catac uh, Cataclysm came Cataclysm. out. Cataclysm. Clab Cataclysm. And then I bought Cataclysm, and it was I enjoyed it, but it was just it the took one. it took forever. The fire one, fire game. It the took fire game. absolutely forever to get to level. What was the cap then? Seventy or eighty? And it took forever. It took fucking forever. It felt. It got to the point where I was like, I don't even know if I want to play this anymore. But I finally did it. I'm like, man, good thing there's not two more expansions after this or whatever. And yeah. now there kind of is. Well, guess, but right? here's the difference. Now, <laughs> now it is, here's a million fucking quests and you only have to do 50 of them. Because it, it's like, like the jump is so much faster because they're trying to run you through the thing. So mm -hmm. your cap ends up hitting like, 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 too much like you'll be 64 <laughs> When you're still doing like 52 content, and if if you want to do it all, yeah, you know, That's which is like. which is fine, but I, there has to be a way to be like, hey, mm -hmm. let me have my cutoff point <clears throat> so I can sure. do this, so I can do these old raids, so I can do this old content. Mm -hmm. Let me experience all this fucking story and go at my own pace. Absolutely, you know. And I'm I'm cool with the idea they have characters that are like, hey, you you bought a game, you want to boost to the latest expansion. That's fine. Yeah, but they need to work on the fucking older stuff. Because some people kind of want to see all the shit that happens before. It's a lot Maybe of I don't read a book and just start at the final chapter, you know? Maybe I want to read chapters 1 through 80. 
Shots fired. Boom. Uh, and we are now at, what, like 36 minutes? Yeah. We good, dude. We good. Hey. Blazer. Flying colors. Hey, what's the... Me tell uh, What's the topic? What's the topic? What's the topic for this episode? Best handheld... Or no, favorite, favorite handheld, handheld video game. I found this to be a good topic. I still don't really know what I want to say, although my, my instinct, ever since you asked me that, my instinct answer is right there, and I'm trying to think of something better. But I can't do it, so I'm just gonna say it. It's Killzone Mercenary. Oh, Ooh. it's a. Uh, I mean, it's it's easily you can make the argument very easily. It's one of the best games on the Vita. Uh, it's definitely the best shooter on the Vita because you know you got Borderlands Two, you got that Call of Duty game which kind of sucked, the Resistance mm -hmm. game which everyone hated on, but I thought it was fine, um, and Killzone Mercenary which was like looked like Killzone Two, Killzone Three on my fucking Vita, hmm. and it's uh, the multiplayer is awesome. The and you know and it actually it uses the back touchpad to zoom in on the sniper rifle and stuff. It's like they really used the Vita without being overwhelming about it, like some games. That's mm -hmm. nice. And they didn't like ignore the features either. Kind of like not quite as fully as Tearaway, because sure. that's kind of like the pinnacle. Mm -hmm. But it came close. And it's uh, wow, Tearaway would be a good choice too. Honestly, Tearaway's that's, that's awesome also Tearaway's a good one. Yeah. Got so it's hard for I mean, those are the two games that are like these are the two games that are what the Vita's about for me. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's got to be a Vita game for you. Well, it doesn't have it to be. Because like, like when I say it, handheld, you can games, go back to the game. You I've just go been and... playing the Vita so much the past couple of years. It's just hard for me to, when I think handheld, I think Vita lately. Or the Lynx. There's a few games that are You really don't think of any games. like fucking uh, Tiger Electronics? You know, I, those LCD screens. I never got into those. Simone. A lot of kids had those. Well, when, when they were poor. Up, they were poor and miserable. I was, poor I was and one of them. But I, don't have I, got I, them had, for, I got them as gifts for sure. Fucking, yeah. you got them at a, I did, I got at a Burger King now. toy, and I got them the worst. One. Wait, you control it with his nose. <laughs> Weren't they only interesting for like a quarter of a second? You, you play all the games a little bit, and you're like, oh, so I've played all the games on it. You're done by Christmas evening. You're you're done yeah. before that. You're, Christmas Eve. Yeah. I couldn't imagine playing that for more than five minutes. Yeah. Because it hurts. Those games are painful to play. Yeah. yeah. In order to get, get away from the Vita a little bit, I would say outside of the Vita, Chips Challenge. Oh, the links. You oh, play Chips Challenge. It was on PC. Chips Challenge. It was an arcade I and PC. Bummer. And hmm. It was a. It was just a little puzzle game. You play a little Pixel Man, and it's it's really hard to describe other than that it's it's funny and it's quirky, and it's this little nerd that's inside a computer, I guess, mm -hmm. and he's just solving little challenges in order to be a part of a group called the Bit Busters. Ooh. And the the like, I guess there's like this. It reminds me of that episode of SpongeBob Such where SpongeBob's name. trying to be. In the group of like the ultimate jellyfish people, right? And there's yeah. like this big nerd who rules the whole thing, and he's Kevin. a sea pickle. Yeah, his name's Kevin. He's like he's a douchebag, and there's no reason why SpongeBob would want to be in this group, but he that does. Was a good episode. That's what Chips Challenge reminds me of. You play this little weird, little happy fuck who wants to be in some group of other fucks, and it's like, why are you doing this? But you're doing it anyway. It's Chips Challenge. <laughs> all right, question for you all the way in the back. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> Great Hi, episode. Kevin. Yeah, that sounds one. like a good uh, game though. Yeah, man. I'll let you play later. I have it. Sweet. And my Lynx has that LED screen I got it modded. It's Ooh, amazing. That's and nice. VGA output, too. Oh, boy, baby. I'll, uh, I'll rattle off my game, then. Well, yeah, okay. What would you say? I'm interested to hear your whole... I'm going to go back. I'm going to say... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to judge it by the game that I, I think sunk the most hour, hours into in my life. Sure. The one I've like, played the most obsessively. I'm going to say Pokemon Red. Fuck! Yeah, dude. You stole my... Really? <laughs> you prank. Really? It's great, isn't it? I got to pick a new one. Now. You know what? I, I played never, it recently, actually. I never exactly played Red. I played but it wasn't... Blue. It it's wasn't great. red, but it was still Pokemon. So fucking for me. Played the shit out of blue. Never Mine was red. silver. Are there any differences other than the color? They they have a couple Pokemon paint. each exclusive, so you have to trade. That's oh, what it is. That, that's reason. all it is. It, you've played you played the same game. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure they still do that. And yellow to was this pretty day. close too, as far as I understand. I want You just you were yeah. forced to have Pikachu. Yellow, yellow for a was while. like yeah, okay, it's so like red and blue versus Pikachu and a couple other. Usually, things what would happen with Pokemon, they would release two, and then they would have like the ultimate version. Where it's like, hey, I don't have any friends, so here's all the Pokemon in that version. Right. Ruby and Sapphire, that Diamond. Yeah. yeah, and then like fucking, I, I forget. I I, I actually diamond, um, crystal. really love the the GBA remakes. Ooh. Of of it was it was red and green for that. Oh, that's but right. They were, yeah, they were fucking even better because it was it was the same game but super pretty. I'll you know, with I've always wondered GBA like what, when are they gonna so, really start to run out of ideas for Pokemon games because it's always like. Sapphire and Ruby and like you're running out of elements here. <laughs> well, I feel like the next one's gonna be like grass and. They've wood. already announced the next ones. <laughs> it's, Pokemon it's Wood, Moon and Sun. 
Oh, okay. So fucking they That's just, bad. just whatever they want. X and Pokemon y likes felt... dichotomies. They like that shit. Yeah, X they and Y. <laughs> That's, they're all about it. I felt like X and Y was like, okay, they're out of fucking shit. They got some other colors too. They do like, they're gonna be like, they do like fucking purple and black. Magenta and wax blue and, and metal. Yeah, honestly, they might do that. I can see. I could. I just see a Pokemon metal. That just sounds right. That Pokemon, sounds Pokemon good. metal. Or like if they did two different metals. Pokemon you know, Seafoam like Green and They bronze cheated and one year. And, and they were just like black and white two. And yeah. they just cheated. That's said, a straight Fuck cheat. it. Yeah. We don't want to make a new one. We'll just have the same just same world, same character. Just fuck it. Yeah, bronze bronze Never and played iron. Never that one, actually. Good. Two I, I heard it was in two raw metals. So what's your favorite hand, oh boy? Uh, if well, you thought of one in two minutes. Uh, I got a couple. Ooh. I was going to be Pokemon. Okay. But since that's taken, I've got to change my answer. Um, there, there are two. One of which is going to get you to punch me. I wasn't going to say it, but fucking... Don't! Don't you fucking say it. Okay, I won't Does say it, it. Is it opposite of overstory? Because <laughs> I'll fucking kill you. Is That's it not about, even a handheld game. Is, is I don't it, know if you figured out a way to play it on the fucking NVIDIA Go thing, or I don't is know what the hell you're doing. about a monster who goes to the Earth, and he's the, the only monster on Earth? Guess what? <laughs> It was called Mother 3. I'm it was fuck. one of them. I'm done. I quit. No one has three mothers. Two at the most. Because, you know, <laughs> lesbians, I guess. Polyg okay. Polygamy's all right. That's not, that's not my number one. But that, is, three fucking, that is an amazing role-playing game that everyone should play. Is. Mother 3. Mother 3? Is it on Game Boy Advance? Yes. Okay. Undertale 4 by Wasn't today. gonna be my main pick. Do you have, and a, fucking, still do you have a non earthbound related answer to anything in your yes, life? Yes, because I my, my main pick, uh <laughs> funny enough, his life. my main pick has nothing <laughs> to like, do with it. What would you like to drink? Earthbound five! How old are you? Earthbound shit. <laughs> shit. Earthbound twenty three for dinner last night. Shimigami, Black Lord, earthbound Undertale. Shimigami Tensei <laughs> Strange Journey on the DS <laughs> is the shit. <laughs> All right. It is the best fucking RPG. Ever on a handheld. Now you're, now you're so fucking good. I love that game. Undertale is the best movie I've ever seen. You ever play Shimigami Tensei Strange Journey? I bet you haven't. No. Is it on PS2? It is a fucking DS game. Uh, DS2? I got it on PS2. It is DS2. a great game. <laughs> the day state, the it's, delay station. It's like too. John Carpenter's The Thing if it was a JRPG mixed with Dante's Inferno and it's fucking Inferno. great. Inferno. It's hot. Dante made it. Okay. Over time this time. Because we're uh, the boss. Is there anything else we need to go over? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not allowed to fucking talk. Oh, we did. oh Game of the Week, Max. What's sure. your choice for Game of the Week? The segment that we forget almost every week. Uh, um, I You know what? I started up Mass Effect for the first time mm. ever. Loving it. That's I'm, interesting. I am a female shepherd as if well. If you're fucking oh, loving the first one... My name one? is Clums. K-L-U-M-B. Like Buddy, Clums. I got news for you. Clum. If you're loving the first one, uh -huh. two is the fucking best goddamn game. I hear the ending of three is great. <laughs> I, I fucking am all okay with the ending of three in retrospect, mm. but it, it's it's bad that I you, know about that and I've yeah, just started you know playing what? the first one. If I'm you in the same view boat. three as a whole as the ending, because it it kind of does feel that way, mm -hmm. then it's fine. It was a big deal when it happened. Everyone was talking about it forever. Well, it's it like the like, whole the whole game is concluding mm -hmm. different mm -hmm. scenes. Like sure. everybody's story wraps up. It's mm -hmm. literally the last ten minutes that just aren't good. Okay. So if, if if you're just like I if you do the whole me. game as closure, honestly, if you just shut your eyes at one point and no. just said it ended there, it's fucking perfect ending. That's fine. It's just ten minutes kind of sour it, and and I and they're not wrong to because they was... suck. But fucking, I get I get it more in retrospect. And yeah. DLC kind of helped fix it because the Citadel DLC really makes that game feel like a great ending. Okay. So it's all good. They redeem themselves, and four's coming yeah. out. So yeah, 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 four is. is gonna be cool. I'm ready. All right. Well, don't play a shepherd. Thanks for watching. If you if you like the content, or if you're just semi okay Why? with it, give us a like or subscribe. Something to help us get a little bit more visibility. Something like that would be nice. Don't, don't forget share to, around to share. Your friends. Well, so share it. Yeah, share it around to your share. friends. And remember, DLC is a weird acronym because that's two words. Why is it three letters? If you have it's enemies, it's share it to it to them. Because right. we need friend. There it is. Are we doing the handle? I'm looking at the word that's on your hand. You have to edit it in now that I said that. Oh, oh yeah. Is he? Well, let me get that out of there. Uh, so we can do the handhold. I just realized the every single person <laughs> watching the video knows what school you go to. That, that, happened, at, that happened at 50 minutes and 20 seconds. Bye! Bye. <laughs>